Greetings, welcome once again. Thank you for joining me for another edition of Electric Avenue's YouTube updates. Today I'm doing the new releases in store for April 5th, 2024. I have so much to get to today, uh, so you will not be getting a recommends from me this week. I'm basically going to go through uh, all of the new releases, show you a few record store day previews, and that'll probably be it. <laughs> Uh, because I think it's going to be um, a long one as it is. There are a lot of new releases this week that typically happens around Easter when the week of Easter is usually a little less and then the weeks around it are a little more because they sort of take up the slack. So, first big new release of the week. Just going to jump right in here. The Black Keys, their new album, Ohio Players. Well... I don't know if it's funky. Maybe it's funky. It seems like it's definitely got more uh, sort of soul funk <laughs> on the single that I heard, but or at least soul. Uh, this is their new record, and uh, Ohio Players, I love this cover, The Bowling Alley, um, features a song with Beck, uh, Beck and Juicy J, Paper Crown. Um, yeah, this is... Uh, Looks like 14 tracks. So Black Keys have been busy. Um, still on None Such Records, Easy Eye Sound, their own label. Uh, I'm not sure. I think the last record they finally started, finally, but they start bringing in some outside writers. Uh, and then this is also uh, exclusive red vinyl. So it's the indie store version. <clears throat> Those usually go fairly quickly when they release one of their albums. Their last couple albums have been pretty good. So... I don't, I don't know. They don't really have any bad records that I know of. But uh, anyway, the other uh, really big new release to show you this, this week is uh, Vampire Weekend. This is their first album in like six years, I think. Uh, it's called, uh, well, it's got a long name, Only God Was Above Us. This is the limited indie store exclusive cover version. This is a different album cover than what other big box retailers will get. Um, there's no song listing on the outside, but it is a double vinyl. I think it's black. I don't think that there's a color edition here, but uh, indie retail exclusive alternate cover. Uh, and the songs I've heard were really, really great. They remind me more of their older style before the last record, which was a little more felt a little more like an Ezra Solo record in some ways. It was more Paul Simon-esque. Um, these sound a little more like a return of their slightly uh, New York-y, punkier side a little bit, if they have a punky side, really. Uh, okay, another big new release this week. They just keep on coming. Krong Bin and their new record, Ala Sala. And um, yeah, this is the limited edition Soleil vinyl record. And this, I, you can't really see it, I don't think, on, on screen. But this is a cutout cover. The windows are cutouts. And on the back, these windows are also sort of cutouts, sort of throwbacks to uh, all those Zeppelin and Stones, stu Stones covers. Um, yeah. So, if you aren't familiar with them, go look them up. They did an Austin City Limits that I think has been pretty popular. And um, there's a lot of sort of cool instrumentation in that band. Their guitarist is insanely talented. Uh, a couple of Blue Note Tone Poets this week. Uh, Anthony Williams, and this one's called Lifetime. This one features Sam Rivers, Bobby Hutcherson, Herbie Hancock, Richard Davis, Gary Peacock, and Ron Carter. What a great group of people he amassed for this one. And the other one this week of note, uh, Tone Poet, is uh, the new Horace Silver Quintet. And this one is Silver Serenade. And uh, it features Blue Mitchell on trumpet, Junior Cook, Horace, Gene Taylor on bass, and Roy Brooks on drums. Again, another really good group of musicians. Uh, these are obviously mastered at Kevin Gray, by Kevin Gray at Coherent Audio, pressed at RTI. There's nothing but quality from these folks at Blue Note. I just 
have to say this the consistent level of quality has just been awesome and uh i hope they keep going with that uh, another sort of big release week uh our big release this week new marcus king uh this album is called mood swings and uh this is the indie exclusive neon orange vinyl uh he's got a song on here called f my life up again um Mood Swings, the title track on here. Uh, it looks like it's just a single record. Uh, produced by Rick Rubin. Um, what was the other release? Oh, uh, I'll get to that. Rick Rubin had a couple of things come out this week as a producer. The new Old 97s album, American Primitive. Uh, Rhett Miller and these guys have been at it for a long time. This is uh, Olive Green Vinyl. Um, I'm assuming that's some sort of indie version. Uh, okay. Phosphorescent. First new Phosphorescent album in like five years. Exclusive Black Ice vinyl. It's called Revelator. Um, he's a great singer-songwriter. So check that out. I said there's a lot of stuff this week. The Pernice Brothers. His first album, theirs in five years also. Um, I think, you know, COVID kind of put the put the chill on a lot of careers during some of that time. People worked on stuff but didn't release, certain people didn't release things. First album in five years produced by Joe Pernice, limited edition clear vinyl and autographed by Joe Pernice, featuring the song I Don't Need That Anymore, including Nico Case. Uh, you can see Joe's signature up there. Uh, let's see. It's on New West Records. Can't really see the back. So much to see on the back. Uh, let's see. The Libertines. Uh, this is a throwback English uh, Brit rock type late late 90s is when they sort of appeared. Or early 2000s. Uh, indie exclusive clear vinyl. It's called All Quiet on the Eastern Esplanade. And features Run Run Run, Shiver, and Oh Shit. <laughs> um, their last album was great. Uh, An Anthem something? I can't remember. I remember buying it at some point and going, oh wow, it's really great. Uh, I think they're underrated. They're, you know, the problem, not the problem, but going back, there were a lot of like, um, that band has had a lot of turmoil and, and ups and downs throughout its career. A lot of it due to sort of like things like drug use and stuff, but they're such a great band. So it's good to see them back again. Great to see this band back too. The Gossip, uh, Beth Ditto and company. This is their first new album in like, I think almost 10 years. It's called Real Power, um, sort of inspired by uh, the lockdown era. Um, and things that were going on in the news. Um, this is uh, also produced by Rick Rubin. Uh, he did their album Music for Men, and then their last record uh, was produced by Xenomania, which was a sort of a more of a British kind of pop rock. They're sort of, in, I think, responsible partly for the song Believe by Cher, and uh, also worked a lot with uh, some like kind of British Saint Etienne, Girls Aloud, Pet Shop Boys, people like that. And uh, Gossip decided that they'd go back to Rick Rubin for this album. I think it works probably a little bit better in some ways for them, just because it's got a little less of a gloss to it, but um, catchy. All right, Maggie Rose, her new record. Uh, no One Gets Out Alive, and uh, she's another really great up-and-coming artist. And um, this is on Big Loud Records. Uh, this, I think, is a, also like some kind of indie swirl exclusive vinyl, but they don't put a sticker on it. Sometimes you can't tell if there's no sticker. I'll have to like look it up in the file. New Freddie Gibbs record. This is You Only Live Twice, pressed on deep red vinyl. And uh, this also features the hits uh, 24 Karat Jesus, uh, Crushed Glass, and Amnesia. Um, includes Insert. It's quite a cover there. <laughs> You've got sort of 
Jesus y things and stripper poles, <laughs> whatever. Uh, Freddie Gibbs, popular rapper, though. So, all right. Um, now we've sort of hit the Billy Joel uh, section of the video. So, uh, the first thing I'm going to show here is uh, Billy Joel. This, this was a, a live at the Great American Music Hall. 1975. This was actually a record store day release, uh, what, like three years, four years ago? It was like four years ago. Uh, so they decided to make it regularly available. Uh, it's not on color vinyl, I think like the other one was, but this includes early live versions of Everybody Loves You Now, The Entertainer, and Somewhere Along the Line. Contains the earliest released versions of New York State of Mind and James mixed and mastered from the original multi-track tapes. I think this is just sort of a repressing of the record store day thing, but if you missed it, now you can get it regular. So that's pretty cool. And then sort of going into other, I said this is a Billy Joel section, uh, Songs in the Attic has been repressed as a standalone. Some of these were from uh, box sets that came out, so they just kind of said, well, we're gonna make some of them on their own. Uh, although, I don't know if those were, I can't remember if those were Half Speed Mastered or not, but anyway, these are uh, 50 year remastered. This is a live record, includes uh, Say Goodbye to Hollywood. I think the song that everyone remembers from this is probably She's Got Away, was the hit song from that. Um, then there was Cold Spring Harbor, which I have some people talking about that they want because this has, uh, I think it's got the corrected speed. Uh, the originals of this were pressed like with his vocal and piano, everything was too fast. Uh, so it was like in the wrong key. Um, Street Life Serenade gets a repressing um, and it's been a long time since these have been actually made new on their own. Um, I always like this picture of him on the back on the chair um let's see also turnstiles uh so we got a lot of classic billy here angry young man the studio stay, say goodbye to hollywood and new york state of mind um yeah they don't really need to do uh the stranger uh piano man those those have already been out um i think innocent man has been out and 52nd street one of his best, I think. This has uh, Big Shot, Honesty, My Life. Those are the first three songs. Zanzibar. Um, sort of like high popularity level Billy Joel. Uh, okay, so um, moving along. Hey, uh, I've been waiting for this for a while, too. No doubt, the greatest hits. This is... Uh, it was on CD at one point, this is singles, 1992 to 2003. So this is sort of like the high point of their career. This is a first ever black vinyl pressing. Uh, features, Just a Girl, It's My Life, Hey Baby, Bath Water, Sunday Morning, Hella Good, New, Underneath It All, Excuse Me Mister, Running, Spider Web, Simple Kind of Life, Don't Speak, Ex-Girlfriend, and Trapped in a Box. Um, most of the stuff that you would really want. I think they've only had one album since then that I remember, and then Gwen's had like maybe four, three or four solo records. Uh, I guess four if you count the Christmas one. Eh, there might be four actual four records. I don't know. Another band uh, getting a reissue this week, Garbage, Bleed Like Me. This is their album from 2005. Uh, this is the one that features Why Do You Love Me, Run Baby Run, uh, the title track. Um, this was a really good sort of rock record. It was more, it was a return to sort of their earlier sound after the album Beautiful Garbage, which had been more of a uh, sort of a poppy kind of throwback record, it had more of a like a 50s and blondie sort of influence to it. This one's a little uh, heavier. Also, the cool thing about this is it features a second record that has uh, one, two, three, four, like seven, seven B-sides on one side, four on the other, so like 11, 12 bonus tracks. It also includes Tell Me Where It Hurts, which was the single from the Greatest Hits album that came out around this time. 
great song that didn't appear on the album. So, uh, and greatest hits, I'm not sure that's been pressed recently. So that might be the only way to get that song. So, uh, all right, another uh, reissue. Highly regarded critically, Jim White's Drill a Hole in the Substrate and Tell Me What You See. Uh, this is the 20th anniversary of his haunting outer space alt country classic that has a title so long nobody can remember the name of it. Uh, let's see, erstwhile druggy drifter, storyteller, taxi driver, recovering Pentecostal maverick from Pensacola, Florida. Did we mention it's on vinyl for the first time? And because he wasn't wor he wasn't wordy enough, this time he's added three extra tracks. Uh, it's on Lou Akavop. Uh, David Burns record label. This features the songs Combing My Hair in a Brand New Style, That Girl from Brownsville, Texas, If Jesus Drove a Motor Home, Phone Booth in Heaven. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of Jim White fans lurking out there. He's a great artist. Another sort of great singer songwriter to mention, Elliot Smith. And this is a reissue re of either or. This has been out a couple of times, but this is a, a sort of a bonus edition. It has a expanded deluxe edition, uh, includes a bonus LP of previously unreleased live recordings and rare studio outtakes, indie exclusive maroon, vibe, maroon vinyl, exclusive uh, edition 1500 pressed. So not a lot. Some of you may already have this album, and we're like, oh, I don't know. But the side, this uh, second record here features uh, My New Freedom, Pictures of Me, Angelus, Some Song, and Rose Parade Live. And then New Monkey Keys, I don't think I'm ever going to figure it out, remixed, remastered. And I Figured You Out and Bottle Up and Explode alternate version. So that's what's on there. And Maroon Vinyl. Okay, Chapter House get a reissue. This is uh, their Whirlpool, one of their, I guess their most highly regarded album probably. Limited edition of a thousand numbered copies on white marble vinyl includes insert. If you're into shoegaze, you probably should grab this quickly if you want it. Um, hopefully you've heard it. They're sort of not one of the most well-known bands in that, but good band. Dinosaur Jr. This is a new live record recorded live. Maison de la Radio, March 22nd, 1993. Prime era Dinosaur Jr. Uh, features Just Like Heaven, Freak Scene, uh, Drawings, Keep the Glove, Budge and Thumb. Uh, there have been other live Dinosaur Jr. things come out that were sort of packaged with their reissues of their albums. So... Um, it's not like the first time I've seen a live Dinosaur Jr., but that's pretty cool. Joy Division Live, Lee Rock Festival. Uh, this is 25th, 26th, 27th August, 1979. Uh, this is number 386 of 500 on red vinyl. Sometimes I'm not sure exactly how um, official these are, but this features uh, Disorder, Digital... Dead Souls, Shadow Play, She's Lost Control, Transmission. Uh, there aren't many of these, so don't be surprised if they're already out by the time you get here. A couple of used, uh, band, the band they used, uh, this is Imaginary Enemy, which is uh, on orange, black, and white swirl vinyl, and Vulnerable, which is on silver vinyl. So if you like the used, um, this is the time to get these because, again, I don't know how long. These are going to be around. People have been waiting a while for some of those reissues. Uh, also, a mustard plug reissue. Uh, this one is yellow number five. I love their cover art. is always so much fun. And this is on purple vinyl. So if you're into kind of like ska punk type stuff, I guess. Um, New mustard plug reissue. All right, uh, Lady Smith Black Mombazo. Uh, this is the best of them. If you're familiar with Graceland by Paul Simon, that's where a lot of that music sort of comes from. And uh, it's good to see this being repressed because some incredible artistry on display there. 
Um, let's see, the Art Ensemble of Chicago, the Spiritual. Uh, I'm trying to remember the name of the other one, but it had sort of an Egyptian sort of uh, woman on the cover. This one, it features uh, Lester Bowie, Malachi Favors, Joseph Jarman, and Roscoe Mitchell. Uh, four stars uh, from All Music, uh, them at their artistic height. Coke bottle, clear vinyl edition, pressed at Palace in Germany. Uh, so it's a little more avant-garde kind of uh, jazz. Um, let's see, this uh, Bowie, Lester Bowie is a trumpet, flute, horn, horns, bass drum. It's funny when David Bowie started having Lester play on his records. I think that was uh, Black Tie, White Noise. Um, he was on that. Roscoe Mitchell plays all sorts of different flutes and bells. Uh, you get uh, Joseph Jarman playing saxes, clarinet, oboe, piano, harpsichord, uh, and Malachi playing bass, banjo, uh, zith zither, and percussion. So, yeah, it's going to be a little more sort of avant-garde. Uh, there have been a bunch of these come out recently. Uh, another buddy guy in Junior Wells. This one's live at Montreux. This is on Coke bottle green vinyl. Uh, let's see. It's just a single record. One country room shack. Things I used to do. Every day I have the blues. Driving wheel. Help me. Come on in this house. Messing with the kids. Somebody's got to go. Everything going to be all right. Got my mojo working and hideaway. So get a, quite a few songs for one record. Um, okay. Well, usually these come out on record store day. So maybe they, I don't know if there is a record store day record this year. I'm surprised that this is not on it. And then it's just out now. Rockabye baby. This is lullaby renditions of dun, 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 Taylor Swift. Uh, so if you want to hear Taylor Swift done baby style with, you know, no vocals, uh, it's just lullaby kind of background music. Featuring color vinyl, download card, children's activities, and more. It transforms the music of your favorite artists into beautiful instrumental lullabies. So if you have a little baby and you want them to be indoctrinated into Swiftyism <laughs> uh, at an early age, it's got bad blood and shake it off. I can only imagine what like shake it off sounds like in baby song. Uh, and we are never ever getting back together. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blank space style um, love story oh, that's cute uh, okay and maybe you know it might make a good gift for somebody I suppose uh, and then very limited quantity on these Revenge of the Nerds soundtrack and this is uh, the new, the killer new wave soundtrack to the 1984 film Lemonade Swirl Pressing limited to 500 copies so these are already sold out at the warehouse. I went back to see if there were more, and there are not. So um, if you plan on getting that, you might want to get it fast. Um, let's see. I think there's a couple, of, a couple of CDs I didn't pull out here. That's my bad. Um, oh, I'm going to have a bunch on the floor. Hold on just a second. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I'm grabbing them. Ugh. <laughs> your facilitator is like gonna pass out here trying to catch these things all right uh cd from grace cummings ramona is the name of it uh cedric cd from cedric burnside and this one is uh he's blues it's called hill country love i think it's also available on vinyl and eric bibb live in stockholm another blues cd and <laughs> There's one other, uh, let's see, Carl Palmer, Fanfare for the Common Man. This is a little box set. This is a career-spanning deluxe box set, three CDs, studio and live recordings from Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, Asia, et cetera, et cetera, and a Blu-ray video. Uh, this is something that I have on special order for people. If you want it, you're going to have to, like, let me know. All right. Uh, so I wanted to kind of touch a little bit on record store day stuff since it is less than three weeks away. All right. 420 stoner holiday. Don't forget it. <laughs> I know that you're going to be sort of, some of you are going to be, the, uh, <laughs> I gotta get up at what? Just don't go to sleep. All right. Come stand in line and 
uh, annoy the people next to you. <laughs> no, I don't know. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a good one, I think. Everyone tells me that anyway. They're all like, oh, this is best list I've seen in a while. I thought last year was a great list, so what do I know? Um, it does look like a great list. So I pulled um, a few things that have been coming in just to show you. I don't want to do necessarily um, a massive uh, unboxing video because... Um, it's so much work for small staff and I just would rather not waste your time doing all of that so uh, because you're gonna look it up and see it and you'll be interested I'll be showing things don't worry I'll be showing a lot in these videos uh, I still have a couple to make before and uh, who knows there'll probably be one or two special videos instead of trying to tie them all up in new releases since there's so many of those too all right so the first thing I'm going to show here G Love and Special Sauce. This is like a Philly classic. Uh, this is a 30th anniversary 2 LP edition on light blue vinyl featuring original album plus rare B sides on LP for the first time. This is the one with cold beverages. So um, you kind of have to get that if you're a, a Philly person from the 90s and you remember this album. You know, it's a, it's a very popular sort of underground record it didn't it didn't make it nationally per se like like the hooters or something like that but uh from this era area uh okay pixies live from red rocks 2005 so there have been numerous pixies live releases on these record store days but this one um i think is sort of important because a it's at red rocks two uh, it's, well, it's on orange marble vinyl, but really, I think more because this was sort of their kind of reunion tour was really gearing up at this point. Uh, this features Wave of Mutilation, Monkey Gone to Heaven, Allison, Cactus, uh, Stormy Weather, Gouge Away, Debaser, Gigantic, Here Comes Your Man, Where Is My Mind, I mean, Valoria, it's got a lot of stuff, so... If you've been putting them off, maybe that's the one you want. Uh, let's see. Spawn. The soundtrack. I, I was not really expecting this. And I'm like, sometimes I say, well, who remembers that? And then people are like, oh, my God, it's Spawn. Uh, features Korn, Metallica, Marilyn Manson, Slayer, the Prodigy, Moby, Orbital, and the Crystal Method. So it was kind of one of those albums where they mashed up uh, sort of techno-type artists with rap artists. So or uh, more like metal type artists or rock artists. Uh, you even get Henry Rollins with Goldie. Uh, Slayers with Art Atari Teenage Riot. So that's kind of an interesting uh, pairing. Anyway, for those of you that are into that genre, one of my favorite albums of that era that um, I kind of had forgotten about because I'm not sure what he's doing. He got into songwriting for other people, I think, and uh, for a while was Duncan Sheik, and this was his 1996 album featuring Barely Breathing, and there was a time that you could kind of hardly escape that song, but um, I haven't seen or heard of it or thought about it for a while. Cobalt Blue Pressing, limited to 1,500 copies, um, and this actually features also She Runs Away, Days Go By. This is kind of like a more poppy version of Nick Drake of the 90s uh so that's how people sort of like kind of build him uh, uh, some of his songs were kind of like unique they had a very drifty sort of quality to them but um very much singer songwriter pop though um a lot male paula cole or something like that joe strummer and the mescaleros rock art and the x-ray style this is another strummer uh reissue in the series and this is 25th anniversary remastered audio on pink vinyl. Um, okay, well, there were a couple of George Harrison things. Uh, this one is uh, electronic sound. Uh, I also saw the other one, the Wonderwall music lurking. But uh, so you get sort of the original album cover and then the picture disc y sort of looking side. I mean, it does look very cool with the dark horse in the center and it. I'm, it kind of looks like a slightly bit of a zoetrope effect here. Like when it spins, it's going to look interesting. Uh, they do have it as the zoetrope edition. So uh, if you're 
in the, the more experimental side of the Beatles. Uh, let's see, Howlin' Wolf. And this is uh, Live in Europe, 1964. Uh, so some electric Chicago blues. Uh, Dust My Broom, Shake It For Me. Uh, Howlin' For My Darling. Actually, Dust My Broom is on here twice, so. Uh, let's see, the Yardbirds. Uh, Yardbirds, uh, Psycho Daisies. The first collection of UK and US Yardbirds B-sides, mastered from the original mono, fresh liner notes by Greg Russo, pressed on 140 gram purple vinyl with orange splatters. So that's a little bit of uh, Yardbirds action there. Um, I think this is going to be popular. Another Philly thing, but uh, it made it national, just kind of underground. Dead Milkman, Bucky Fellini. Uh, this is remastered on ducky yellow vinyl. First pressing since the 1987 release. Limited edition reproduction Bucky poster. Uh, tip on gatefold jacket. New inner sleeve with liner notes. Um, it says includes the boner beat remixes on the download card. Limited edition of 5,000. 100% of the label pro pro profits are going to charity. Uh, the Giving Groove, and uh, this features the track Instant Club Hit, You'll Dance to Anything. You'll Dance to Anything by the Communards. You'll Dance to Anything by Book of Love. You'll Dance to Anything by De Pekka Mode. Uh, and also features I Am the Walrus. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, this, I think, is going to be sort of a sleeper hit. I've had a lot of people talking about this. Dave Pike the Doors of Perception. Um, there's the picture on the back. Uh, this is uh, this is Pike's version of an acid experiment. Uh, says all music, mind-bending blue swirl, limited color vinyl. Features uh, some jazz guys: Herbie Mann, Chuck Israel, Lee Connitz, Eddie Daniels, uh, and uh, yeah, it looks kind of out there. Um, cool <laughs> can't wait to hear it uh all right Ma manu debango debango uh 1976 manu 76 uh this is uh an album of sort of like afrobeat kind of stuff um sort of inspired by fela and jazz and whatnot uh nico uh she's had a few live ones come out this one looks really good live in tokyo 86 this is 86 is getting kind of late in her career. Um, I'm not sure how lucid she was this night. That's not included on the cover, but it's on green vinyl. She does do All Tomorrow's Parties, Femme Fatale, the My Funny Valentine, and The End, the Doors track, which she does very portentously, uh, as did The Doors. Slum Village, uh, this is uh, Detroit Deli is the name of this record. Uh, let's see, features Kanye West, John Legend, MC Breed, ODB, produced by Jay Dilla, Kanye. I mean, this is really early Slum Village stuff. Splatter color vinyl. <clears throat> I don't know how many of those we're going to have. Uh, same thing with Queen Latifah. It's an early record. Nature of Assista, 1991 sophomore album. Features Latifah's Had It Up to Here and Fly Girl. Uh, and Fly Girl became like a, a really big thing. Bad as a mother. <laughs> well, Latifah's had quite a career, hasn't she? Uh, another uh, Snoop Dogg movie, Murder Was the Case. The soundtrack to that um, 30th anniversary, translucent red vinyl that decodes classified text. Uh, and it's got the in, in memoriam Calvin brought us up there, of course. Calvin is still with us in reality. Uh, includes the song Murder Was the Case. Natural Born Killers by Dre and Ice Cube. Uh, what Would You Do by The Dog Pound. 21 Jump Street by tw uh, Snoop Dogg. Yeah. I think a lot of hip hop people be wanting that. Uh, Gil Scott Heron and Brian Jackson, Winter in America. This was supposed to come out like a year ago got sort of tangled up in some sort of like licensing issue. Anyway, this is on really cool inside out vinyl effect. Um, it's kind of like a big white splotch in the middle of black. 
uh, includes the classic hit, The Bottle. Uh, five stars from All Music, his most righteous and provocative album. Gil Scott Heron, R.I.P. And, um, oh, I just picked up a box set that was hanging around Wilco's The Whole Love. This is uh, what they call the complete edition, I think. Expanded. Includes Wilco Classics, Art of Almost, Dawn on Me, Sunloathe, and many others. Um, I don't know if it says how many are pressed. Mastered by Bob Ludwig. It's kind of a cool package if you like. I mean, these are little cutout holes, sort of. It's a little artistic there. And you get the album with the third. There's three records in there. So uh, there's a record of bonus tracks. A lot of them are iTunes and Sirius tracks, but... Um, but it's expanded. All right. Uh, that's all I have in front of me right now. There are so many more that I'll be showing. So just keep an eye out. Thanks, guys, for watching me. Uh, I really appreciate uh, all the positivity and your patience and your support. And I could go on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I really hope that this is like uh, Record Store Day for the ages. Uh, it's got to be good. <laughs> I hope so certainly ordered more records than I've ever ordered and the bill is like almost shocking um, especially with you know prices being the way that they are but I have no control over that and uh, if anything I'm trying to like really look at numbers and we want to keep the margins sort of like uh, down as much as possible so that you guys aren't getting um, sort of like hosed on your end at all either it's we're very very like uh, try to because the store is very fair about that sort of stuff. So anyway, uh, got the Andre 3000 record already. Um, and that's been sort of flying off the shelves. Uh, if you're into like avant-garde jazz and stuff like that, that is, and it's a very chill sort of listening experience. Uh, it's like he doesn't rap on it at all. Uh, it's, so it's just mellow, but, uh, Sometimes you just need to decompress. So anyway, and who better to decompress with? All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great week. I'll see you uh, probably next week, if not sooner. And uh, the rain seems to be ending here soon. Thank the Lord. It's been like uh, biblical in the last three days. <laughs> Peace. Take it easy.